Hello, good evening. Hello, hello. Can you hear hello. me? Hello. Hi. Yeah. There. Excellent. Glad to hear that. So let me go ahead and access here. I see Patricia Gracina. Am, am, I, am I pronouncing that right? Gracina? Is that okay? Azucena, Amilcar, Juan, Rosa. And Adrian Weiler, that's a nice last name. Very good, just let me access here. I need to just change something from my computer. I think we're gonna go like this today. No encuentro el video, okay. I, I cannot find my background, so I'm gonna stay like this, okay, without the English Corporativo background. So nice to meet you all. My name is Silvia uh, Ramos, right? This is pre-avanzado, right? Am I correct? Excellent. Yes, yes teacher. Yes. Right. I love that because I have been teaching just uh, beginner courses. So I need to practice too with you. I'm gonna practice a lot, right? So we're gonna practice mm -hmm. together, no, no Spanish, right? Unless they are jokes, Salvadoran jokes then yes right plus my spanish is really bad my spanish is very salvadoran so no spanish in this class very good so nice to meet you uh, we're going i'm going to share some of my information personal background right so you, we get to know each other and then we start with this class today okay i saw that some of you i think patricia was already in the platform that's very good job patricia you already watching the video, right? But let's just start working here together. Uh, let me know if you can see my uh, PowerPoint. Not yet. Not yet? Uh, no, yes. Yes, okay. So this is a little oh, bit, yeah. this is a little bit about me, right? These classes are from Monday to Thursday, right? And this is, uh, just my person, my my professional background, right? Not a personal background. Just professional information that might interest in you. You are in really good hands at the time that you're learning or you are uh, taking classes with us, right? With with English Corporativo, with uh, this program, right? So feel free to ask questions. <laughs> um, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about me so we can start. Right, I like uh, students that participate in the class. To do that, I don't ask for volunteers. I will ask you directly, just in your name. So I will ask Amilcar, participate. Patricia, participate. Gracina, participate, right? So I will not ask for volunteers because that's, for me, that's a waste of time. Like just volunteers, volunteers, volunteers. nobody wants to talk, right? So it's better if I ask questions. Then uh, another thing is that my face is like this. I don't look uh, very friendly, <laughs> right? But I am, I am friendly. So if you see my face like this is, I don't know, God made me this way, <laughs> right? And my voice is very strong, right? I have a, a strong accent. So if you listen to me, I'm not angry, I'm just like this, right? So feel free to ask any questions. If you don't understand something, just let me know. Hey, Sylvia, I don't understand this and I will be paying attention to you, okay? So uh, I don't know if you have a question. You're welcome, Patricia. Any questions? No, teacher. No? Okay. No. Excellent. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Let's wait for the class, okay. Good answer. So you will see here we have uh, assignments and evaluations, right? We ask for you to have at least 80% of 
right, on your assignments online. So I need you to complete all the assignments. I will always be like, hey, go to the platform, go to the platform, open the platform, right? So you can go ahead and practice. Mm -hmm. Like we say here, you might do extra activities if you can. If you understand the topic, feel free to do so, right? Do not wait until the last day to complete the activities. Buenas noches, no, 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 no sé por qué, ni yo tampoco. Okay, but let me go ahead and send this person the link. Just give me a sec. Invite, copy invitation. <clears throat> Open here. Okay. Tan, tan, tan. Use this link. Okay. So, eh, we are going to share any material, any extra material. Uh, here, I will, I will always ask you to take uh, a screenshots of the activities that, that I will show you, right? I like to do a lot of grammar exercises so you understand where we're coming from, right? Remember, we are learning a foreign language, right? So we need to understand how the language works how the language is a structure, right? It's, it's, we're not gonna be making games, right? Like, oh, let's play this, let's play, no. We're going to be practicing <laughs> English, right? So if we have exercises, we will try to do them, right? Plus the exercises in the platform. And then we have here, let me see. Well, we have four weeks, right? We're going to practice on uh, section one, section two, right? First week. Six, uh, week number two, section tres y meter, right? Section, semana tres, section four, and week four, section five, and final exam, right? So okay. once you're making these activities, right, please let me know so I can help you, right? Let me see something here. Yes, we are recording. Now, uh, just, this is just for uh, for you to remember, right? They say norma de convivencia. We always share them in the first day of classes, right? We use the mute uh, button, right? Uh, I already have the attendance list, so don't worry about that. This that's for me, right? Put your name, right? Your camera, open your camera so I can see you. You can see me, right? Sometimes if you close the camera, right, and I cannot see you. I don't know if you understand something. If you're like this, it's not the same to be like this than to have your camera open so we can see each other. Sometimes we make the faces like, oh my God, I don't understand that. Oh, what is she talking about? I don't understand Sylvia. I don't understand Adrienne. I don't, I, I don't understand Louise. So it's better if I see you, right? And ta -ta 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 -ta, well, just to, well, we're gonna use the chat. We're going to participate. Uh, try to raise your hand using the, the, the Zoom button right here at the bottom of the page, right? <coughs> and always with respect, right? We're going to try to be in the class for 60 minutes, right? We start today, right? On, on May the 30th, right? And we're going to work from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m., right? So try to be here. Um, what else, what else? What else that you don't know? Mm, that's it, right? That's all you know. Do you have questions? You are pre avanzado, so I, I think you know the rules, right? Does anybody have a question? Preguntitas? Hmm? No question, teacher. No question. No teacher. No question. The rules are clear. The rules are clear, very good. Yes, Adrian? Yes. If I'm pronouncing your names incorrectly and you feel uncomfortable, let me know, please. <laughs> let me know. So we're gonna start here. We're gonna do an, a, a first activity. I don't know you, you don't know me, right? No. So I want you to share two things, no, three things. Look at the chat, right? I want you to change to share with me your name, right? What do you do? And 
I want you to also share one interesting thing for about you. Okay. Remember, interesting thing for you, right? I, it doesn't matter if somebody else doesn't think it's interesting. So let's go ahead and share a little bit of us. I'm gonna start, right? Um, my name is Silvia, Silvia Ramos, right? You can call me Silvia, there's no problem. You can call me teacher, that's okay too, right? Uh, what I do, I'm an English language teacher, right? I have been a teacher for 15 years. And uh, one interesting thing about me, I think that something interesting about me is that I love both watching a lot of movies and series and reading books. So you see that? Yeah. Right? That's interesting, right? So let's start with Azucena. Okay, okay, good evening, everybody. Good evening. My name is Azucena, but you can call me Azu or Azucena. Um, I'm a business manager. And one interesting thing about me, I'm considered I'm a, per, a friendly person. And also, I like to read. Very good. Excellent, Azucena. Right, thank, thank you for you. sharing. Choose the next person. Who is next? Azucena, select another student. Okay, I choose uh, Patricia. Patricia. Okay, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Uh, my, my name is Patricia. I am a doctor. I am... Um, um, some interesting things to me is uh, I like dancing, go to the beach and singing. And singing in the karaoke. <laughs> nice. Yeah. The ones from, uh, I don't know. I, I forgot the name. <laughs> don't mind me. Okay, thank you, Patricia. Who's next? Let's see. Um, Gracina. Gracina, okay, that's the pronunciation. Gracina Hernandez. Hello, uh, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Uh, my name is Gracia Hernandez. Um, I am uh, an administrator. And I like to uh, listen to music. And I like to cook um, different food. Uh, lasagna and I don't know. <laughs> nice. Right. You can teach me. I can teach okay. you English. You can teach me how to cook. That's perfect. Okay. <laughs> Excellent, nice. Rosinha. Who's next? Okay. Um, Amilcar. Amilcar. Oh my God. Hi, oh Mr. Huh? <laughs> Hello, uh, pleased to meet you, everybody. Uh, <clears throat> good evening. Good evening. My name is Amilcar Escobar. And I work in a bakery, and I like to I like to eat fish, uh, chicken, and I like go to the beach, and I like to listen some music. Okay. Some music, uh huh. Some music. Very, very good, very good. Thank you, Amilcar. Thank you so much. Right, who's next? Um, let me let me choose. Okay. Uh, Rosa Luz. Rosa Luz. Rosa Luz Sanchez. Nice to meet you. Rosa, Rosa Luz, Luz Sanchez. Okay. Hello, good evening. My name is Rosa Luz Sanchez. Could you tell me Rosy? I am sales coordinator and I like listening to music and I like my healthy desserts. Okay, very good, Rosie. Thank you so much. Right, who's next? Okay. 
Cori Mendoza, Monterrosa. Cori Monterrosa. Hi, Cori. Hi, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, my name is Cori Monterrosa. You can call me just Cori. And I am a cashier at the motorcycle store. And I'm a lawyer, too. Uh, and one... Uh -huh. And one interesting thing about, about me, I don't know, but uh, I like to dance uh, merengue. <laughs> you can go <laughs> dance with like Patricia. Take a picture, and I like to take a picture uh, to flowers, to mini flowers. I love that. It's nice. Just that. Thank you so much, Corey. Very good. Right, we can make a party here with food, with going to the beach. Okay, excellent. <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> Um, I choose, let me see, Adriana Pais. Adriana Pais. Hi, Adriana. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Um, my name is Adriana Pais. I work in administration, administration, sorry. I consider myself a, a, a kind person. I love to sing. Um, but I'm not very good at it. I love dogs and enjoy going to out with my family and friends. Very good, Adriana, thank you. So I have two dogs too. Yes, very I lovely. have two dogs. Two dogs, yes. nice. Okay, <laughs> very good. Who's next? Um, We're missing uh, Luis Arquimedes. Luis Arquimedes Medina. Go ahead, Luis. Good evening, everybody. My Good name is Luis Medina. Mm -hmm. And I work in uh, Cementerio La Bermeja. Okay. Uh, something interesting, maybe uh, I like play basketball and I like to help people. Okay, very good. Now, it's cemetery, that's in San Salvador, right? That's right. Okay, very good. Is it true that there are there are spooky spooky stories about that place? Like what's it mean? It's spooky. It's spooky is like there are ghosts it's like, oh so terrible. Uh, 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 <laughs> We have uh, this, uh, the cemetery are uh, Los Ilustres that you will take a, a how, how is the name? We will a take a, a tour, a tour in uh, Los Ilustres and you will learn about uh, some people like a, uh, uh, President, eh, aviator, and a big family, you know. Eh, we have uh, La Loba, for example. Uh, the, how we say, novia, which, which? Depends. If it's, you're going to get married, it's a bride. No, we have a, a, a bride. <laughs> eh, we have a history about the bride. You know, this is the tour that we have in, in Los Ilustres. Uh, and after we have uh, a Cementerio La Bermeja, we have uh, Maquilisquat, uh, Monsignor Romero, and something like that. We have different place in the, in the cemetery. Oh, I see, I see, very good. Thank you so much, Mr. American. No, Luis, right? Luis, oh my God. Luis. <laughs> Luis Arquimedes, Arquimedes America. It's similar. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you for sharing. Who is next? Arquimedes. Elizabeth Gutierrez. I think that. Elizabeth. Uh -huh. Elizabeth. Okay. okay. Uh, hello, everybody. Nice to meet you, teacher. Nice to meet you, too. Um... Uh, I am Elizabeth. I work into developer networking freelancer. Uh, I'm 
bueno uh, my mm, I I don't know okay um, the things about it interested with me is I love traveling my motorcycle and I love dancing and I love grind uh, I write the short novels and just that <laughs> Okay, very good. Very good. Okay. Thank you, Elizabeth. Excellent job. Thank you so much. Right. Now we're going to work here also. Who's next? Let's see. We have Silvia. Silvia. Oh, Silvia. Okay, go ahead. Silvia, hi, Tokaya. Hello. Hi, <laughs> Miss. My name is Silvia Fajardo. Um, I am journalist, but um, right now I, I just I am a housewife. Okay. And uh, I like watch movies and series. And sometimes I choose something to learn. Like in this moment, I learning to to put jellies, jellies, knife. Uh -huh. Oh, nice! I need some. Yeah, everybody, every woman needs. <laughs> everybody needs these nail uh, gel nails, <laughs> right? Very good. Okay, let me go ahead and help you out here, right? Well, you're not just a, a housewife; you're actually learning another skill, right? That's good. Right, learning another activity. I, I cannot put uh, nails. Yes. I have tried, but I can't. So look at my nails. <laughs> okay, Silvia, who's next? We have Adrian, uh, Mayra, and Juan. Only three people I left. choose Adriana Pace. Uh, no, Pace? She, already, she already participated. Uh, Juan Martinez. Juan Martinez, go Juan. Okay. My name is Juan, and now I'm working in a ONG with children in my city. Mm -hmm. And one inter interesting thing about me is uh, mm, that I love the animals, all the animals. Okay. Mm -hmm. You love all the animals. Yeah. I don't like a snakes. I'm going to be honest. I'm sorry, <laughs> I don't like the snakes. <laughs> okay. Very good. Uh, we only have so left uh, so <laughs> Mayra and Adrian. Who's next one? Adrian. Adrian. Adrian Weiler. Hello everybody, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, uh, Miss Ramos and classmates. My name is Adrian Weiler. Um, something interesting about uh, me is that I listen to music. I enjoy reading uh, the horror history book. Okay, uh, uh -huh. I'm currently a freelancing. Now is my job. It's a pleasure to be here. Excellent. It's a pleasure to be here too, Adrian. Very Thank good. You. Where does your last name come from? Myra. Your last name is Weiler. Yes, it's, yes, I yes. think it's, it's American last name. Uh, my descendants uh, for my grandmother is the Switzerland. Switzerland, you see, it's not Salvador last name. <laughs> Very good, Mr. Weiler. Right, and the last person to participate is Mayra De Paz. Yeah, good evening, everybody. Good evening. My name is Mayra De Paz. I work like a chemical library analyst in a jar factory. And some things interesting about me um, I like to cook 
I like to go camping and I love to see anime. Anime. Okay, you like you love to see anime. Yeah. Okay. Let me go ahead and see here. I, I don't watch anime, but I used to watch it when I was a kid, but not anymore. Maybe someday. <laughs> okay, so it was nice meeting you. I think everyone participated, right? Are we missing someone? No. Okay, so it was interesting uh, getting to know you a little bit today, right? Now we're going to get to business, right? We're going to practice a little bit with our uh, book. Of course, I'm going to show you the information from the from the platform. We have to watch a video from the platform, right? And we're going to talk about relative clauses, right? So that's that's our main topic for today. Can you see my PowerPoint here? Yes, I can. Okay, wonderful. Yes. So Pretty much, right, what relative clauses do is that they give us extra information or information that sometimes um, it's extra means that we don't need it. It's just making some, uh, you know, it's, it's just making us write a little bit more. But sometimes these relative clauses, they give us information that is important, right? It helps us to describe a noun right? It could be singular, it could be plural, so we just need to pay attention to what it is. Here I have some information, right? Uh, let's see here. Sylvia, can you please read the paragraph in purple? We use relative clauses. Okay. We use relative clauses to describe or give extra information about something we have already mentioned. It. We often use relative pronouns e.g., who, where, that, which, whose, to introduce relative clauses. Okay, very good. So we're going to use these WH words. You remember who? It's for people. Where, we are going to refer to a place. That, people, places, situations. Okay, which, we, go, we can refer to people or things, right? Whose is for belonging. Right, that's mine, right? That's belonging. So we're going to use this WH clauses, right? Now, when we say clause, what do you think is a clause? What comes to your mind when we say clause? I think it's a clause, <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, actually, it's it's right, right? It, it, it is that, right? A, relative, a clause, exactly that word, it's pretty much a piece of sentence, okay? It's a piece of sentence that doesn't make uh, sense by itself, okay? It's just a chunk of words, right? a group of words that doesn't make sense. If you put it alone, it doesn't make sense, right? It's not like the sentence. The sentence has a subject, verb, complement, and it makes mm. sense. It has an idea, a complete thought. Right, and a clause doesn't. A clause is just, okay, just a piece of information, a piece of description, extra information, right? So that's what we're going to look at here. Uh, Patricia, can you please help me out and read this information? Okay. A clause is a group of words containing a verb. Relative clause are a way of giving more information about a person, thing, place, event, etc. We often use them to avoid uh, reparting information. Okay. The other? Yes. Oh. I want you to read ah. the examples here, but <clears throat> we're going to read them like this. Okay, go ahead. Uh -huh. The euros. People make fires. Their fires are used for cooking. The Euros people make fires, which they use for cooking. Which they use for cooking, very good. So if you look at this, we're, we're actually already making examples of relative clauses. So what do we do, right? Can you still see the whole, the whole uh, screen? 
you see do you see it bigger yes okay yes. excellent so what are we doing here right when we say that we are right avoiding repeating information the euros people make buyers right that's the piece of information i need first buyers right now their buyers are used for cooking so this information is repeated here and here so mm -hmm. in english it's english is very different from spanish in spanish oof, we go around the bushes we give a lot of informations right we pro provide information here 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 about the same thing but in english we are boom straightforward right so here we have the word again the euros people make fires which they use for cooking so we are using the word which right to avoid repetition right what are we omitting right we are omitting fire right fire. right exactly so both sentences have the same meaning there's no change the only thing is that the second sentence here this is advanced english okay this is a way you would speak to someone in english in a very no normal way we, in english we speak like this this and then this when we are starting to learn english and now we want to be advanced right so we need to start doing this right making these connections right and for that we're going to see the rules right let me go ahead and show you right now the video right that we are going to use let me tell me please if you can see my computer can you see the platform yes, yes. Okay. so yes, of course we have objectives of, of course right that by the end of this lecture you will be able to use relative pronouns who and that that's the goal only two who for people that is also for people and events or things but we're going to learn uh, how we make this so tell me please if you can see we're going to make this smaller okay can you see right now my computer the video yes i can yes okay so we're gonna watch this right but then we are going to try to make some examples right for each one of these so let's pay attention i may pause the video at some point to ask you questions so please pay attention i will pause the video so let's pay attention and what we want to do here is we want to put information i like to meet people Hello everyone. In this class you learn how to describe the kind of people you like to hang around with. For example, I like friends who aren't too serious. You'll learn how to use the relative pronouns who or that. Now let me get started by presenting the structure. We'll do a few examples and at the end of the class I would like for you to practice by making your own examples. Let me talk about the first example that you see here, relative pronouns as subjects. So in essence, what we want to do in this class is we want to take two pieces of information. For example, I like guys. They aren't too serious. That's the second piece of information. And what we want to do is we want to combine these two pieces of information. And we do this by using the relative pronouns. We're either going to use who or that to combine those two pieces of information. So at the end, what the sentence is going to look like is, I like guys who aren't too serious. Or you could say, I like guys that aren't too serious. Stop right there. Now we have the first example, right? They just gave us, I like guys, they aren't too serious. I like guys who aren't too serious. I'm gonna write my example, right? We're going to use who 
for people, okay? Look at my example here and tell me if you can see the whiteboard. Can you see the whiteboard? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Relative pronouns as subjects. I'm gonna write my example right now and it says here. I like students, right? I like students. Students like to participate. Now, these are my two sentences, right? Now I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna use who or that to Wow. connect the sentence using a relative clause, right? So what am I going to do here? I will go here. I like a students. Students. And what is the word that I'm repeating twice here? What's the word yeah. that I'm repeating? That. Okay, am I repeating that? Like. Oh, like, okay, like, I'm repeating like. Okay, that's, that's uh -huh. okay. Thanks. But here we are, we are working with a student. pronouns. A students exactly because like is a verb right i like a students right <laughs> who, who, who or that or that like to participate. to participate very good right so we have here right and then i have my example of a relative class i'm using who or that right who or that. Now, that's my first example. I can say, I like students that like to participate, I like students who like to participate. Okay. Are we clear with that? Yes. Yes? Okay, very good. Now, we're going to go ahead and make another example, okay? Let's go ahead and make another example here with our clauses. Can you see my white screen? ¿Aún pueden ver la, 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 la pantalla? Yes. 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 Okay. Sorry, it got stuck a little bit. My sis, well, my sister is still a student. She goes to the university. So I'm gonna talk about my sister, right? My sister studies a lot. That's the first one, right? She gets good grades at the university, right? These are my two sentences. Look at this. I'm going to put them here so we make it. This. My sister studies a lot. She gets good grades at the university. Right? Now, how can we make this a relative pronoun as a subject? How can we make this happen? She gets good grades at the university. <clears throat> bueno, um, let's try. My my sister study a lot. Uh, my sister is the pronoun. My sister, yes, studies a lot. Uh huh. Uh, um. Uh, that. Mm -hmm. uh, she gets good grades at the university. At the university. Okay, very close, very close. We're using that. Okay, very close. Now, but we, we don't have to use. We can, 
Uh, we don't have to use she. Remove she. she. Very good. Uh -huh. Okay, my uh -huh. sister, right? Studies a lot that gets good grades at the university. Okay, that's cool. Okay. We can do that. Now, there is another way. I want you to see this, okay? Teacher. Yes. But I have a... Oh, we what? don't... We don't... Oh. Hmm? We don't... Or oh, we... Use? Oh, we haven't to, to, to add another... Uh, I don't know if, if it's preposition because I would like... My sister studies a lot because he because she gets or oh, or oh, she gets good grades at the university because she studies a lot but i don't use that in, in who very good now we can use who and that for people that's okay but here right with this example is something that we're going to see in a moment también lo vamos a explicar Sorry, Emilcar, I'm going to turn off your mic. Okay? This is another way of combining sentences. Okay? So, we have, if you look at this, it's just kind of like, this sentence doesn't make sense. Right? <laughs> if you read it, it's just like, is that English? What is it? So, what we're going to do is another way of combining the sentence. Okay? So, we're going to put here, my sister studies a lot. My sister Cut it here. Who are we describing with this information? Who are we describing? I think uh, uh, my sister studies a lot, uh, so she gets good grades at the university. Perfect. That's perfect. That's excellent English. However, we cannot use so in relative pronouns because yeah. as Sylvia <laughs> read, we can, we're going to use who, what, where, etc. Right? So now, one question, one more question. With this information, she gets good grades at the university. Who are we describing? What, what is this information about? Who is this information about? Yes, Elizabeth? Is, is, is the described uh, to, this, to her sister? Or Excellent. Is Yes, it's describing the sister. Very good. So it means that we can take that information and we can put it over there. Okay. So my sister, who or that uh, gets good grades at the university, studies a lot. That makes sense, right? Why? Because we have a subject, we have a verb, we have a complex. That it makes sense, right? Now, this is another way. This is the easy way. This is ah, this is for beginners. This is also, right, a little bit more advanced. Right? This is another way. In English, remember that we have different options. Remember that, right? Different options to the things. So do we understand this? We're going to continue watching the video, okay? We're gonna continue watching the video. So let me just mark this right now, right? Who, that, and remember, this is describing this, mm -hmm. right? So pretty much like this, and let's make it this, right? right? This is describing this, right? It's telling me more information about who? My sister, right? That's the point of the relative clauses. Here, right, this other sentence is telling me more information about these students, Please. right? Mm -hmm. Now, let's keep on watching. Sigamos viendo, right? So you can give me your examples. Can you see again the video? Yeah. Yes, yes. okay. Yes. Let's keep on working. Let me share the audio is sharing. Let's go. Guys who aren't too serious. Or you could say, I like guys that aren't too serious. I'm going to write down those examples to make sure that we're understanding the process. 
the first example states, I like guys, they aren't too serious. And what we do is, if you notice in gray up here, and I actually colored that in blue in the bottom, because that's what I want to focus on. Um, here, this statement here could vary, it could change to different things, right? Like you can say, I like guys, I like friends, okay? I like people. So that could vary. You could change that to whatever you want. You can have another phrase there, like I uh, like to hang around people, I like to be with friends, etc. That phrase could change, not just necessarily I like guys. And then they aren't too serious. Um, in this case, I want you to notice that we're using adjectives. All right. So whenever you use adjectives, what you're going to have in this uh, second statement is going to be uh, the verb to be either positive or negative. Okay. Um, and then the and then that's going to follow the adjective. And so what I want you to notice at this time is how we take these two pieces of information and we combine them together with the usage of the relative pronouns who. Okay, remember that relative pronouns will help us to describe, right? And we're going to use them like adjectives. Those are the main things that we need to remember, right? Let's keep on working. Or that. So let me give that example now. I like guys who aren't too serious. I like guys that aren't too serious. Now, what I want to explain here is that you can either use the relative pronoun who, or you can use the relative pronoun that. And also what I want you to notice is that in um, this statement, so they will disappear. The pronoun here is they, that disappear. And we changed it to they uh, to and we changed it to who or we changed it to that okay so I like guys who aren't too serious this is on our first example let me talk about the second example now yeah. and the reason this one is different is because we're no longer going to use adjectives uh, so that changes a little bit uh, but again, it's the same concept as previously. What we want to do here is we want to combine two pieces of information. What are those two pieces of information? Well, I like guys. That's one piece of information. And then they have a good sense of humor. Now, in this case, notice that we're using a verb. Uh, and that's because we're using a noun to uh, mention the kind of people that we like to hang around with. So I like guys or I like friends. I mentioned that you can change this to whatever you like. Um, that phrase could change to something else as well. So I like the way that you would change this is to say something similar will happen and that is that uh, the uh, pronoun on the second uh, piece of information will disappear and that will disappear by either who or by using that. So in other words, the statement will state, I like guys that have a good sense of humor or I like guys who have a good sense of humor. Now let me get you to do a few examples. I'm, we're going to do one last one together and then I'm going to have you do a few more. We want to take these two pieces of information. I like to meet people. They are sociable. So we Okay, so we're going to start working here. I need to see your answers in the chat right? with this too. I like to meet people. They are sociable. How would you make that possible? How would you combine it? Let's see, Patricia. I saw you very active today in the chat, so in, in the platform. So what would you put there? Remember here, you can uh, make mistakes, okay? Don't worry about that. Uh, in that example, I like to meet people who are sociable. Okay, I like to meet people who are sociable. Okay, very good. Yeah, that would be totally correct. By right? following the first got example. Two pieces of information. And what we want to do here is we want to put these two together. We're just going to remove the pronoun they and we're going to change it for a relative pronoun, either who or that. So that was quite simple. I like to meet people who are sociable. And I mentioned you can either say, I like to meet people that are sociable. Okay. 
So now we have this video, pretty easy, right? Now I want you to write your examples. How would you make an example here with this, based on this explanation, based on this video? Please send me the, my plataforma link to myself, please, or my email. A join to the WhatsApp chat. Are you in the WhatsApp group, Amilka? No, yes, sir. Okay, join the WhatsApp group. Because in the uh, WhatsApp, I can send yet. it to you WhatsApp. Okay, please. Uh, I need uh, someone to tell me the, the link, please. Okay, we need you to go to WhatsApp. Did you receive the yes. email with the information? My, my uh, I haven't yet. You haven't? <clears throat> that is Yes, weird. I haven't yet. Yes. Am I, okay. We're gonna send it in a moment. I admire people, okay. they are kind and friendly. I admire people who are okay. kind and friendly. Excellent, Corey. Excellent. Let's see the other examples. Corey already wrote an example. Sorry, teacher. What no, did Corey, you say? Your example is uh, perfect. I think you think. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. That's what I said. What about the others? What are your examples like? Let's see, I like to cook fish, I like to eat a lot. Mm -hmm. How can we make that? Aha, uh -huh, Patricia, you are in a problem with that sentence. Because you're not providing information about anything or anybody. I like to cook fish, I like to eat a lot. You need to have information. For example, here, look at this example. Those people live next door. They have 16 children. That's my example. Right? Okay. Look at my example there. Let's, I like people funny. They are make me laugh. I like people funny who makes me laugh who make me laugh, okay? I like funny people. Remember, adjectives go before nouns, right? Adjectives go before nouns. My friend wrote a letter for my sister. My friend who wrote a letter for my sister, what, Juan Carlos? We are in, uh, we don't have a, a, a verder. My friend wrote a letter for my sister. That's one sentence. You cannot come, you need to have two pieces of sentences, two pieces of information. Teacher, about your, about your sentence, uh, mm -hmm. like we, we saw, previously, uh, will be those people who live next door have 16 children. Mm -hmm. Those people? Who live next door have six, 16 children. That's one way, who live next door. Who live next door. Oh, that live. Who live next door, have 16 children. Very good. That's one way. What could be another way? Those people, right? Those people live next door. Uh, live next door. Uh -huh. right. Those people live next door who have 16 children, right? Which is the, the, the most accurate? Which is correct and which is incorrect? Which is correct and which is incorrect? 
Yours is correct, Cody. Okay, thank you. Yes. <laughs> you have to doubt yourself. <laughs> okay, I want to explain something here. I like to. Sh I love people. They are honest and patient. This one is okay, Azucena, you need to combine it. I love people. They are honest and patient. How yes, many yes, I that? cannot finish. Because <laughs> we change the, the, the sentence. For the example, standard. here, Juan Carlos. And yes? I, I will try to, to complete, but in uh, um, speaking. Okay. I like and to share with my family who is very sociable. Who is very sociable? Okay, go ahead. I'm listening. Okay, my sentence says, I love people. They are honest and patient. And the relative close uh, will be, I love people who are honest and patient. And patient. Very good. Right? That's an excellent example. Very good. I like to write about it. What is the connection, Archimedes? What is the connection, Juan Carlos? The mechanic is efficient. Mechanic works well. The mechanic who works well is efficient. The mechanic who works well is efficient. Here, I want you to look at this. When we have this example, this is very important. Antes que nos vayamos, right? Before we leave, look at this. How many sentences do I have here? In the one that I selected, how many sentences do we have? We have only one sentence. I only think. one sentence, exactly. We have uh, here, right? Subject, verb, complement, right? Here, the only thing that we did was to separate the sentence using who? Right? But actually this who is just doesn't make sense in the middle. Yes. We need something else right here, right? To come back. My mm -hmm. friend wrote a letter for my sister. Right? He, he was very happy. My friend wrote a letter. My friend who was very happy wrote a letter for my sister. For example. Right? For example. Teacher. Yes, how do, you say, how do you say when something está de más? I would say it doesn't make sense, right? It doesn't belong. Uh, it doesn't belong to the sentence. Exactly. Here, this doesn't belong. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, very well. Now, for tomorrow, we're going to complete more exercises, right? We're going to keep on working. We, I need you to practice uh pronunciation right with me i have exercise already for you yay but that will be tomorrow <laughs> right because <laughs> one hour is not enough right so please watch the video again make your examples bring your examples to the class and we can discuss them right so i don't talk much can you start working and providing your examples? Does anybody here have an extra question before we leave? No, Questions? No. No? no, teacher. No. Okay. So I will see no, you guys please. tomorrow. Right. Have a beautiful rest of the night. Okay. Enjoy. You. And nice meeting Thank you today, you. guys. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye. Good night.